love claspy camper vans, this is the Super Bowl video of all videos. Definitely hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, check out our Facebook and Instagram pages, and also our website, howtohavefunoutdoors.com. Today we have a special treat for you. That's right, our favorite 2022 Class B camper van RVs, and we're gonna show you a bunch of them. This is a long video, but you're gonna get to see a full selection of camper vans uh, from a lot of different manufacturers and uh, if you're interested in buying one of these you're definitely going to want to watch this video because you're going to get to see a little bit of everything so we hope you're ready uh, we're going to take you down to florida to one of the biggest rv shows in the world and uh, we're going to get to show you a bunch of different camper vans we've even got a bonus on electric class b that's going to be a prototype vehicle that you're going to want to check out but we've got all the brands and here you go from florida all right nick how you doing good good so uh welcome this is our 2022 midwest passage this is on the 144 mercedes-benz chassis okay so uh as you know may or may not know the mercedes-benz chassis gives you all the good uh driver assist features lane departure warning blind spot monitoring power assist door here yep nice yeah, that's Positive pretty sweet. Easy. Pretty sweet. This is on the. This has the new uh, pa uh, Freedom Lithium package. Okay. So no generator, no propane. We're 600 amp hours of lithium on here. You get upgraded from a 2,000 watt inverter to a 3,000 watt inverter, and you go to diesel heat on here, which is super efficient. Nice. All right, stepping on in. All the nice fixtures and furniture. So Midwest has its own stitch craft. They have their own woodworkers. Uh, so all this stuff is uh, made in house uh, in Elkhart, Indiana at Midwest. Everything is controlled on the coach right here. You can turn your fridge on independently of the battery. Okay. Keep it cooled down pre-trip or during the trip if you go in uh, shopping or hiking or whatever turn everything off all your tank levels you do have tank heaters on here as well bed is very easy to drop down nice you have two auxiliary panels so no matter where you're at in the coach you've got the uh, rear panel there in front of the lounge you can also operate all this stuff while you're driving you don't need to pull over to do any of that stuff wow it's all right there this also has the four camera system on there great because it's always on you can use it for security. So once you have your blinders up on your, on your screens and you don't need to see out, all you need to do is come up to that screen, touch and be like, all right, yeah, it was just a raccoon, not a robber. <laughs> Single burner induction top on here. Corian countertops and Corian sink. This is your wet bath in here. Very nice. Yep, so very high quality. Uh, I personally prefer to shower in this one with both doors open, pull the curtain, now you got all the elbow room in the world, right? Okay, very nice. You can touch right away, closes right up. Now one thing I like about this versus other B-Vans, in your wardrobe closet, you've got the panel in here. Oh, that is nice. So this controls your Wi-Fi, your Apple TV's in here. And everything is in here versus on every other coach I've seen, yeah. it's underneath the seat. Yeah. I don't want to be belly crawling just to figure that out with a flashlight in my mouth. I can do it right here. It's easy. <laughs> awesome. A little Max Air. Very cool. Max Air vent. I've got a table that'll spin around to any position I want. I can sit back here, lounge with my feet up, <coughs> watching TV. Dual zone audio. Okay. So I can be back here watching a movie. Somebody up there can be up there on zone one listening to the radio as they're driving. Just an awesome, awesome unit. Nice TV in here. LG Smart TV. Right? Yep. So very awesome. They give you all high quality products in here. So and what's Midwest the warranty? Backs, what's the warranty on these? Yeah, things? so Midwest backs all this fine product, three years, 36,000 miles on the house part. Wow. So that's pretty sweet. That's above average on a lot of the two-year deals. I've seen it is, there. yeah. It's not just a one or two-year deal, no. And fit finish-wise, 
I always point my customers out. Just a small little thing, right? But if you feel the attention to detail back here, there's no screws, there's no staples. And the, how does no the blinds flat. work on this? So they're just an MCD blind. Yeah. Okay. Boom. And then pull up shade. Very cool. All right. And then the horsepower on this, what do we got? In the uh, so you are the six cylinder Mercedes diesel, 188 horse and mid, mid 300s on the torque. You can still tow 5,000 pounds on this unit. Okay. So if you want to tow a small car behind it, no problem. And right now, if you order one of these, how long does it take to get one? You're looking at about six months. Okay. You're looking at about six months on a fresh new build. All right. Very cool. Yep. All right. Well, thank you so much. Great unit. Hey, really sharp. Hey, thank you. Come see us down at Grazini's RV World in the Comus. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Well, as you can see, we've got lots of great videos, but it doesn't stop there. One of the greatest parts of owning a Class B RV is that you can go almost anywhere, have a great time, build a bunch of experiences and great memories, but also meet a lot of friends. And we've done that with these van rallies that exist, and boy, oh boy, are they a blast. You're definitely gonna wanna check out part one, part two, part three, of our latest Ocala rally that we had down in Florida in 2022. And we talk about all the different modifications that have been done with all the different vans, tips, hacks, you name it. We go inside a bunch of these vans after they've been purchased and you'll get to see what the owners do. It is quite remarkable. So we encourage you to check those videos out and let's move on to the next van. You're gonna love this one. All right, we got Jason, we got Tony, another Italian here, Alice. What do you I think know. of that? So, Lola is, is going to become my best friend. Yeah. <laughs> so we're looking at these Winnebago's. We got a roam with the pop-up. We got a roam without a pop-up. But you were telling us these are exclusive to you guys, yeah. right? Yeah, the first uh, 100 runs are going to be at La Mesa RV. We're in uh, Florida, Sanford, and okay. Fort Pierce, Fort St. Lucie area, and Fort Myers. And what's your website if somebody's okay. trying to get a hold of one of these? LaMesaRV.com. Okay, very and, good. Uh, we're in San Diego, Davis, and in Albuquerque, Tucson. All right. And Phoenix. this is the show price here on these? These are the show prices. Okay, very good. And these have solar or uh, what do they got on them? Inverters, I would assume? Yeah, inverters, and then uh, that's the pop top there. That's the hard top. That okay. one there will run the AC with the... Uh, going down the road yeah with the engine on okay and uh you lose the ac with that one there okay now do these have propane or uh you know a generator or any no, of that no generator at all no generator uh, fully, fully uh, battery operated and then okay you see how the uh that comes out we can pull that out for you and show you okay now, are these lithium or agms or AGMs. what agms okay very good all right, you got one more feature here you want to show us. Okay. This is pretty cool. This is the mobility ramp here. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and take this out. Look at that, Alicia. Very nice. Wow. <laughs> that is slick. I'm just gonna go right up in there. Up here, yep. Load up, and then we'll go ahead and bring them to the up position. Yep. Wow. Nice. Pretty flush goes right in like so. Yep. Of course, the ladder would be there. Yep. And then when you're done, bring it out. Comes right back down. Super impressive, Tony. I got to tell you, you got a nice rig here. You yeah. guys did good with your exclusive and uh, appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you so you. much. All righty. All right, we got the Rome from Winnebago. Let's take a look, see what you think. Absolutely. Class B conversion van, RV here. Yeah. And so, this is on the Ram chassis. Yeah, very spacious unit. You have, uh, as always, uh, the seat that turn around uh, where you can actually face uh, the inside. You have a nice uh, little galley uh, with a nice sink, uh, a little refrigerator and uh, some drawers, nice uh, uh, microwave, uh, and then uh, here uh, a wet bathroom. Wet bathroom that has everything um, and uh, 
nice uh, shower obviously and uh, as a door so you have the curtains but to close up uh, like this then you have the seat that obviously they turn down uh, to make a bed and uh, a nice table that you can open up and uh, you can have the table where to eat uh, over here with a little television a nice uh, closet uh, on top and then uh, the part that make it very unique is actually on the other side you have the stairs and you can go up and there is a nice uh, bed on top all right let's check that out nice stairs that fold up and then you come on up and there you go with your pop-up top ideal for extra you know you can definitely sleep for no problem in this yeah. class b rv for sure in particular if you have kids so that is um, a very nice uh, must have okay so this is the Rome, and uh there's your little power outlets yep very cool and, and then here is the panel with here's the your control panels, panels here yep yeah. And you got that pop-up table there too. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So this one's 134 and uh, the main difference on this room is you don't have the pop-up. No, no pop-up, the rest is actually exactly the same. Okay. Yep, exactly the same without the pop-up, 10 grand less. Yep. And uh, as you can see here, same setup up front also. Okay, next up is Coachman, and boy oh boy, do they have a great selection of Class B RV camper vans. Um, as you all know, it's no secret, we actually own the Coachman Beyond, so we have no ties with Coachman, but uh, we did a lot of research and we love the Coachman products. The Galleria is their premium line. Uh, this is a 24 footer here, as you can see on the Mercedes chassis. And this has the Li3, their lithium package, uh, which is pretty sweet. So this is the high-end version from Coachman. Uh, these are made in Indiana. Um, we did a video on the general manager of that manufacturing uh, that you want to check out, Nick. And uh, you can see that the interiors are very similar between the Beyond and the Galleria. However, you just have all that extra space in the Galleria. You actually have more cabinets. You have that rear cabinet that crosses all the way across the back there. Um, but again, just a really clean design, great fit and finish. Um, all the cabinets are Amish made, high quality. Uh, the materials are very robust. Uh, we'll be doing a one year update on our Beyond and we've had very little issues with it whatsoever. Uh, the induction stovetop there, uh, microwave, uh, as you can see, really nice closets, uh, plenty of space there. Um, and you can move out those shelves if need be. Um, as uh, you can see, they've got a show special at 166,000 on this Galleria. So for a premium uh, Class B, uh, that's a great price. Most of these uh, Class B premium version or models are going around 200. Um, really nice setup here. All your control systems are hidden underneath the cabinet. Um, but then as you can see, you've got this nice split fridge freezer. We'll show you that in a minute. The, uh, the seats do rotate around. You've got a nice big opening um, side uh, panel there, touch screen for uh, more control connectivity and in the back big handles. Uh, but that's your Galleria model and uh, obviously um, this is on the Mercedes chassis. So really nice unit, um, comes in a variety of colors. This is actually the Rise and uh, this one uh, here, as you can see, is on the Ford chassis, and uh, this is a real nice, this is the Beyond 22D. Uh, this is with the split beds in the back, um, but very similar to our 22C with the uh, power down into the queen bed. Um, this Coachman is at $129,995. 
Um, so you still can get a pretty good price as far as 2022 pricing goes. Uh, these have all went up quite a bit, 15, 20,000 over the past two years. Uh, but again, the Ford chassis is what really makes the difference. You can get this serviced at any Ford dealership. Uh, it has all wheel drive for the most part. I think all the 22s going forward are set up like that. You've got the touch screen, um, induction stovetop again here. Um, nice drawers um, and uh, the uh, cabinets are like I said really nice backlit and then here you have uh, your split bed um, configuration and um, again you have the freezer refrigerator split and um, that's really nice you can get all the food you want in there this has the brand new Truma uh, AC uh, setup and uh, boy oh boy is that super sweet um, we do show you that in the video also later on but in any case 129 on that big shower and uh, you know porcelain toilet so you can't really go wrong with these uh, coachman beyonds they do a great job uh, they have built a lot of them and uh, the service and communication with uh, the coachman team is really fantastic so here's the 22c all-wheel drive with the lithium package and you can see that a uh, little bit more expensive here but this is pretty sweet you don't need your generator um, you know and uh, basically the the lithium package they have is a world-class uh, but again very similar interior here this is the white um, package uh, which a lot of people like and uh, there's your touch screen where all your tanks you've got a gray water tank black water tank fresh water tank um, on the 22c model uh, both the fresh water and the gray tank are um, in the uh, actual uh, or actually the black tank are in the chassis the gray tanks out and you have a heater on that um, but in any case you can see it's a really nice unit um, very similar design colors are different uh, but um, and all these cabinets are backlit too so it's really nice in the evening uh, when you can just backlight those uh, cabinets and you get that nice atmosphere if you will in your class b lots of outlets touch screen in the back as you can see here you've got all your usbs uh, these all have inverters on them, so it's pretty sweet setup. Real nice cushions. They changed the padding a couple years back, uh, so now you don't even have to buy any extra type of cushion. You can sleep right on those. Uh, pretty impressive what they've been able to do with that. Here you can see the back of uh, the van, and what's nice is that's a pull-down screen. Um, you can open up the doors. There's a magnet that it touches to. And what's great is you can back up to the edge of a cliff and uh, you know camp and look out at the sunrise. It's fantastic. Here is your electrical coming out of the side with uh, you got dualies on this, which is really nice, especially in the wind or uh, if you're uh, somewhere where you know you need that extra stability. You've got it. Um, here's the 22 RB at 134,000. Uh, basically we're just trying to get you through some of these real quickly so you can see all the different setups um, this cabinet configuration is definitely different uh, than the C and the others uh, but you can see how um, it's set up and you have the single fridge with the built-in um, um, freezer inside that um, speakers underneath the cabinets um, all your little lights here's your uh, microwave um, and you know just a little bit different configuration here but this is the rear bath um, some people like that um, for us it, we, we definitely like the the C version much better but in any case you know if you're if you need more room and you want a bigger bath this is definitely the way to go if, if that's uh, of importance to you um, in any case uh, we'll keep moving on here and show you uh, the back view of the same exact van you can see how the bath opens up to the back and um, you know you've got a lot of extra storage there which is really nice but here's a gallery of 172 um, and uh, you can see once again pretty high-end model and uh, here's the configuration on that Galleria all these come in different configurations obviously depending if you're single you're double you know what your interests are um, you know as you can see these seats turn around like always 
and uh, you've got your TV, you've got a nice little place here where you can throw up your computer, and, uh, but here's your different models of 24A, 24FL, 24Q, and so on. So a lot of different configurations uh, for you to check out. And uh, as you walk through here, you can see you've got the nice sink. Um, this is a nice countertop too. They've done a really nice job with that. Uh, but obviously um, cabinets all the way around, which is super sweet. And uh, lots of area back here in this gallery. I mean, that extra two feet is huge. When you get in there, you, you really feel the difference. It's, it feels like a motor home. Big shower uh, off to the side here, uh, porcelain toilet again, nice sink, um, everything you need there from a shower standpoint. And um, you know, you have the curtains too, so you can open the door to get extra room and, and uh, use the shower curtains. All your water is locked in. Coach, overall, Coachman is a great company. Definitely check out our other videos uh, on Coachman, Nova versus Beyond versus Galleria. That's a great video. We met with the general manager, Nick, of the Coachman Manufacturing. We met with Dean, who heads up the Class BRV Camper Van Group on Facebook. We actually went to the Coachman COA Rally. You gotta check that out. One of our most popular videos, first 11 days, 11 lessons. You wanna check that out? If you're thinking about camping in your Class BRV, we take you out in the coachman in the winter uh, accessories definitely worth checking out for anyone that's gonna buy a class B and then we actually even added checklists and more accessories and one of our most famous videos the stowaway too we assemble it put it on to a class B and then we actually did another video on filling it up how about this next company, Storyteller Overland? We love these Class B, especially if you're into off-roading, overland, camping out in the woods. This is the RV for you. The clearance, the uh, chassis, everything about it is just designed to be off-road. We did a video on this. You're going to want to check that out, but let's go ahead and show you the Storyteller Overland. 2022 four by four. This is the ultimate, and we got Captain Morgan here with the okay. Leche. So can you show us this? Uh, this is a pretty sweet Class B RV right yeah, here. Yeah, it sure is. We call it an adventure van. So the adventure van is a little bit different than an RV because it's multifunctional, multi-purpose. You go off-road and completely off-grid. Okay. Like it. Let's take a look. Show us uh, some of the features inside here. All right. So um, you notice uh, when you come in here, uh, you got digital touchscreen everything. Um, one of the main things that people like is this groove lounge here because it's got a lot of functionality to it. Wow, pretty so cool. This turns into a bed. All right, so now you have sleeping for one here and two more here on the bed back here. Okay. Put this here. Move that up. It's here. And now you have a love seat. Wow. It's nice. very easy. The swivel seat, yeah, super easy. You sleep it for five. Pretty sweet. That's pretty cool. The little transformer. Exactly. Wow. And now you have drive mode. Seat belts, two uh, three point harness seat belts. Yeah. They're pull tested, DOT approved, NHTSA approved, so you can have car seats here. Very nice. designed to have two full-size car seats. Now, is both seats swivel around or they just... Do. both seats swivel. Okay, so you could have two here, two here, and you're on the Mercedes. This is a diesel? Yep, it's the Sprinter. Okay. Very cool. Yeah. All right. So, obviously, you see something here that's, you know, a little interesting. Uh, not something that you see every day in a, in a Class B RV. Um, but what you're looking at is a shower pan, and this is our Halo shower. Okay. It allows you to... Minim, uh, instead of taking up 30% of your space for 1% of usage, you can now take up 1% of space for 1% of usage. So that drops down here. Wow. Look at wow. that. Very cool. Yeah, the shower. <laughs> and now you have a lot more room to move around because you don't have a hard shell right. to create anything. Very and then, cool. When you're done, you leave it here with the fan off for 15 minutes. It's dry. And you. Very cool. Push this in. And then now pinch the bottom. Roll it up. Put that right away. Boom, boom, boom. It's yeah, done. Tidiness. 
Very cool. Now, what do you have for a freshwater tank in this? And we have 21 gallons of fresh water, 24 gray. Okay. Pretty nice. Yeah. And I like gone. this design. Yeah. This also doubles as your step to get into your bed. Okay. This is your garage space. A little toy hauler kind of situation. So both, both of these go up. So you can store bikes, you can store, you know, long boards, yeah. sup boards, all that kind of stuff. Whatever, whatever you know, as you fancy. Right behind here <clears throat> is the battery for our Volta system. Okay. It's about this big here. It weighs 200 pounds, um, but it's 12 kilowatts of power. And what that means in, you know, layman's terms is that you can run your AC on high here in Florida for 13, 11 to 13 hours before wow. you need to recharge. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. And the other most impressive part of that is that when you drive or you're at a high idle of 1800 RPMs, you can recharge that whole entire system in an hour and 20 minutes. Very so cool. it's fast, fast, fast. You got a lot of storage up in here. Okay. Everything's padded. It's super strong. There's no rattles. Okay. Very nice. Everything's super tight. Got super your flush. AC here. AC unit. These cabinets are removable. Okay. Um, because we have the height for the garage, some people, some of our customers have said that they're, they don't, they don't like the, the depth here because it's a little claustrophobic for some. Some people don't mind it at all, but yep. we made them removable so that you can... If you want them, you want them. If you don't, you don't. Very got, cool. You know, obviously microwave. You, you have everything. In now, is this regular, just, just microwave yeah, or just is this microwave. too... Okay, just microwave. All right. And tucked away here in your top drawer is an induction cooktop. Okay. Nice. Portable. So you can cook here. You can cook outside. Very nice. And uh, yeah, the other thing that I noticed that is really cool about this is actually this uh, extra yeah, table the, that you can have outside. The pop -out yeah. So table. you can actually even cook or eat yeah, outside. Yeah, when I cook uh, breakfast, I cook it outside because bacon and stuff when yeah. I'm not getting anywhere. The sink you is have here. Sink here. And then a little uh, refrigerator down yeah. on the yeah, side. That's a cool design coming off this side. Yep. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, because it actually doesn't take space away from the right. inside of their room. Yeah. Very nice. You'll see here, this is our touch screen here. Wow, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. Now, is this got a Truma or what does it have for heat? How is it's the heat a, set? It's got a Rixon system. Rixon, okay. It's on a dual heat exchanger, so it's going to heat from the engine block first. If that's not hot, warm, then it'll switch over to the S bar heater. Okay. And you got glycol fluid that goes down and cascades down. You have forced heat from there. Uh, and that actually goes by and heats the steel that's surrounding the gray tank. Okay. So you can take that down to negative one. That's how we make this a four season. So uh, it is a true four season off-road and it's a four by four, right? Yep. yep. So very cool. So I have a question for yeah. you. Uh, it seems that you have one of this. Yeah. So what is the, like the most fun or adventurous uh, adventure that you actually had with this? Uh, probably my top two would be I went out to uh, Moab, Utah and spent a week or two down there. Yeah. And uh, we went back down in canyons. I mean, places that you can't get that far because you got to come back to camp. And yeah. I just parked and camped there. Super awesome. And then a couple months ago, I went to San Felipe, Mexico. Yeah. Out on the beach, no resources, but I had an van, so I had everything I needed. It was That's awesome. absolutely incredible. Fantastic. Well, yeah. we do a lot of skiing too, so this would be yeah. ideal oh, for you know I, uh, win winter camping, right? Exactly. I didn't bring my van up to the mountain before I came here, and I'm in there trying to change in the front seat, and I'm like, man, I hate this. Wish I would have yeah. brought my van. Exactly. <laughs> so if you order one of these, what's the lead time on this? Lead time right now is about a year and a half. If about you a wow. year and a half. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. But if we give you our names, so you can look out for us and there get us go. faster. <laughs> 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 I knew. Alice. Now what do we got up here? What is this? This is uh, just a Bluetooth speaker that we that we put in here. Okay. Um, so everyone comes with a Bluetooth speaker. Very good. And you got the vent on the top. And then this is just a drop bug down screens. bug screen. Mm -hmm. From the and back, separate, yeah, one on the back separates too. on the end, um, so that uh, it's a breakaway, so you can keep it down and walk through it and back oh, in. So you don't have to, in and out. Of, yeah, okay, exactly. without opening and closing every yep. time. Mm -hmm. nice, nice, very cool. Yep. And then what about these controllers here? What do we got? So you have a sink drink pump. It'll make a noise. Okay. 
Okay. And that takes the water down and puts it in the gray tank. Okay. Um, you got a hot water circ button, so you circulate your water so that when you turn it on, it's hot right away, so you're not wasting water because you only have 21 gallons in a van. Uh, and then you have cargo lights back here. Okay. Cool. Very cool. And then all the different drawers coming yep. off the... Yep, all the different drawers. And, you know, just one thing that we do uh, is quality. Wow. So okay. these aren't thin quarter inch plywood. This is real, real ducktail and super easy yeah. to use. You just push those in. Nice. Just like that. Uh, nice we like that. Easy. Quiet Very closed drawers. Cool. Where do you manufacture these? We manufacture these in Birmingham, Alabama. In Birmingham, Alabama. Yep. And how old is the company? Tell us a little bit about the company and yeah. how do we get a hold of you if we want to buy one of these? Yeah, so uh, we've been in business for, we're going on close to five years now. Uh, we were talking about it the other day. We're like, man, can you believe it's been three years? And then we had a, no, it's, it's, al it's almost been five. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you know, the company found, we found that there was a, a missing part of the market. Um, in, in the adventure van space and the overlanding and you know ma mainly everything's your traditional rv type thing right. uh, so we wanted to create something that's multifunctional. you can have you know you can bring a small family you can live in it full time if you want to uh you can use it on the weekend you can just pretty much go anywhere and so that's how the the passion started uh, and then we got um together with the uh, you know like-minded people who we're actually in the custom world of, of uh, upfitting and everything, and so super high quality. Um, then we have you know more passionate people on the dealer side, so that we know uh, what was missing in the market as far as how to treat people, how to treat dealers. That's how we came up with the invoice pricing, so every single person pays the same price That's all nice. across the country, no matter what. I cool. like that. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. Because uh, so, and then service. Service is one of the things that are that are difficult. So we're we're doing things to try to change that as well. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. All right, and then finally, the warranty on this. How does how does that look? So the warranty from Storyteller is one year, fifteen thousand. Okay. Um, the Mercedes is your your standard three year, thirty six, and five year, hundred thousand. Um, but but different. You know, parts of it have different warranties. The microwave has a different warranty. The, right. Um, the AC has a different warranty. But we're going to ask you to call us, and we're going to have you submit your forms and stuff, and we're going to go to that and take care of, you know, what needs to be taken care of. And this unit here, what's the model number and the pricing? This, this is a 2022? Yeah, this is a 20, 2022 Stealth Mode. Okay. And it is 169, uh, 454. And how many we feet? Have, uh, it's 19 and a half feet it's on the 144 chassis. Okay. Um, we have uh, four models. So we have a, a Ford Transit uh, oh, chassis, you do? and that's okay. called the Mode LT. And then we have a, a Mode 4x4, and then we have the Stealth Mode, and we have a Beast Mode. Okay. Very cool. Yeah. Real sharp. What is your favorite? Uh, I go back and forth all the time between the stealth mode and the beast mode. All right, so we are in one of the favorites, yeah. so it must be the good one. Yes. <laughs> all right, well, I think we covered everything here. Let's take a look at the outside. How about, do you have some outlets here? I see two. Yeah. We didn't talk about that. So, so you've we got have, the USB. We have the USB and we also have um, port for 110, so you don't have to, you, you don't have to run the inverter all the time to, okay. to run the power there. Very cool. All right, let's step on out and take a look at the outside. All right. Yeah. Real nice paint job, real cool design, nice wheels for yeah, sure. Yeah, so the stealth mode is, you know, the reason it's stealthy, right? It's not your your traditional looking, you know, camper and all yeah. that. We black out the wheels, we put a wrap on the bottom, so it's streamlined. You still get the storyteller look, but it's a lot more subtle. Um, we black out the emblems on the back, we wrap the hood. Um, we put this invader rack that we make here. Okay. Um, so basically an accessory carrier. You can get E track and X tracks, and you can mount it um, whatever you need to. You know, storage boxes, for bikes, spare tire, whatever. bikes, yeah, um, anything you need, so that you're maximizing your space inside. Um, Very cool. Those soon will be available on the website, is our website as well. Okay. And you have that also on the Ford chassis. No, this is this will be specific just to the stealth. Okay, it is just to the stealth. Yeah, these okay. are some of the things we try to separate the models. Um, okay. To be the most value add for each one. Okay. okay. Um, you get 360 cameras, um, lane assist, park assist, uh, um, uh, wind wind assist, all all the top Mercedes. Um, 
safety features, the high, the high stuff. So you got luminous uh, roof or side ladder here. Yeah, that's really nice. It's connected to the chassis and to the, the roof rails so that it's uh, super, super strong. You get front runner roof racks so you can put storage up there. You can get up there and watch a uh, sunset, you know, have breakfast. Um, it's actual usable. Uh, wow. most, and do you have any use, solar up there or no? Yeah, we do. We have 100 watts of solar. 100 have, watts of solar. solar panel. Okay. Um, and you know, we use the smart plug, so it's it's uh, gets you 100% efficiency um, when you're doing. It's uh, it's locked in there. It's not rattling around and losing connection. Mm -hmm. um, and this is a super cool feature here. Uh, we created, we put this on here. Uh, because Very of nice. a lot of the fires that were happening and hurricanes and people losing power. Um, so this is a 27 amp output power. Okay. So you can power your house if you go out of, out of power so you can turn your lights and heat on. Um, or you can power someone else's RV for a small period of time if they're with you and, and they happen to run out of power. I like that. Right. You're a we, safer. We got it covered. <laughs> um, that is awesome. So very very nice you guys did a great job on this this is the stealth mode four by four yeah, what do you think behind. aliche what do you want to give this one well obviously five discovery buses <laughs> they thought about everything and the shower like uh, the saving space uh, a lot of bedding uh, so a lot of people that can actually travel with you with yeah. no issues uh, a lot of flexibility with uh, the sofa and uh, becoming a bed and uh, all the different seats I like it, even uh, the kitchen, uh, even small like that, you have everything you need from the cooktop to the uh, to the space to actually have uh, your meal and uh, it's really nice. Yeah, we love our Class B, but the one limitation is for sure the off-road 4x4. And we do the fishing, the winter camping, everything, and it would be so sweet to have some of this capability, right? Yeah, so yeah, you definitely. can kind of go wherever you want to go and uh, we live up in New Hampshire okay, so yeah. this thing would be the bomb up there for yeah. sure <laughs> yeah one thing that I really enjoy is uh, actually the top there where yeah. you can actually see it and use it yes so yeah nice to actually use this ladder and check it out <laughs> very cool yep, yep. well thanks so much we really appreciate your time yes. and uh, we'll get this out on YouTube and everyone can check it out yeah and uh, Liche what do you got to say to everyone back home well, I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, thank you for watching uh, our Out. video on how to have fun outdoors. outdoors. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Morgan. <laughs> All right, look at this. This thing's the beast. We got suspension, we have, uh, bigger tires. And the clearance on this is how much? 13 inches. 13 inches yep. versus the stealth clearance? Stealth at 10 inches. 10 clearance. inches. So this is the big dog here, right? It sure is. This is, this is wow. the one you get when you go way out. And you need ground clearance. You're doing a lot of technical four-wheel drive, off-roading. Um, all are capable, but this just is a little more capable. Yeah. You and get, uh, Go for it. Yeah. Sorry, I also noticed the lights on top there. Yes. They are pretty awesome. Yeah, so you got 360 lights all the way around the beast uh, so that when you're out in the dark, you know, four-wheel driving, you turn those on, it's like daylight around. You can see everything so you can see your approach and, and where you're going, what you need to do. It comes with a spare tire that matches these on the back of the door so that if you do find yourself in a situation, uh, you can change that real quick and keep going instead of stopping your whole trip and happen to go get a different tire wow super cool the, the interiors of the beast uh the capabilities the power all that's exactly the same as all models okay but the beast has exterior upgrades to have it so that you can basically get out in overland right from the from the dealership floor very awesome. very cool now how much is uh, a 2022 storyteller overland beast that go gonna, for that is going to be 198 743 okay yeah. right on the dime look at that yes this is perfect for when we are going to travel in africa <laughs> <laughs> right? go see the big five right Absolutely. Yeah. We will go with that. Yes. The and the interior is exactly the same yep interiors are all the same exactly the same so it's all about the outside yep. and it's uh, all about what flavor you like wow very very cool all right well there you have it you got to decide now if you're going to go with the beast or the stealth so I'm sorry but i get the beast and i go in africa <laughs> go all right sounds good
All right, Chuck is uh, going to show us some new technology. We're over here with Sunshine State RVs, and we're in a Coachman product right here. And what's new for 2022? Well, they got the new Truma air condition system. It's an Aventa. It's got 13,500 BTUs like a lot of the others. Um, it's a 12-volt air condition. It's going to be run through a lot of the Coachman products, so we're told. Um, works really good. Uh, so basically, it, uh, it has a 9 amp draw compared to the, the competitors. Uh, Coleman does it quite a bit more. Yeah. And then from there, um, it has a dehumidifier, something we all like in Florida. Yeah. As well as a timer to put it in a different type of mode for sleep. Sleep mode is what they have it. So it's a lot quieter. I was told the compressor doesn't cycle on and off as much. You can feel it's it's definitely cool there. Yeah, and it's running right now, and it's amazing how quiet it is. And it comes with this remote here. Yep, it's the remote. So switch to the modes. You can control the fan speed. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna do a good job. I mean, the people who test it out for the year that I was telling you about, they um, they have didn't have almost any problem for it. Really. Okay. So and you can run this with the lithium too, no problem. No problem at all. In fact. Um, <clears throat> Lithionics has, I'll show you. Yeah. Um, if you're familiar with the system, you probably might be already. Right. Yeah. They took this from a 600 amp hour to a 630 amp hour um, battery, and they have an app integrated into it. Wow. It's yeah, so Nick and the Coachman guys up there, they do a great job. They're Thank always you. looking at new technology. We did a interview with them, and uh, they're always looking at the next gen of everything, which is pretty cool. All right. Well, thanks sure. so much. Really appreciate it. Come and uh, have a great show. All right. Come All right. see us at Sunshine State RVs. All right. There you go. Thanks. Up next is Alice's favorite. That's right. All the way from Italy, we're going to see a Class B that they're bringing over to the United States. And we've got the demo right here. Absolutely. So this is the Wingham OAC 540. Um, what you're looking at here is the European version. Uh, it is coming to America. The U.S. version will be here landing June, July. Um, right now, this is on a Fiat Ducato chassis. Okay. And the U.S. version will be on the Ram ProMaster. Very good. Now, what's special about Wingham is uh, they build this from the ground up with a fiberglass monocoque shell. Okay. It's all one piece, there's no seams. So they fuse it to the chassis um, and it makes this beautiful RV. And what that does is open up uh, opportunity and uh, uh, to reimagine the floor plan. Yeah. Um, it's very different than anything else you're gonna see at the show here. Um, and you'll see when you go inside that the bed is recessed up into the ceiling. So it completely opens up the floor plan, gives you a larger kitchen, a larger bathroom, and um, a dinette that you can sit six people around. Wow, wow. that's six pretty people. good. Six people. That's so it sounds fantastic. like the Italians did a nice job yeah. uh, designing this ceviche. As always, smaller is better in Italy, yeah. so it's the opposite of the United States. And smaller is, it's 17 feet, nine inches. So wow. it, is, it is tiny, a, a standard parking spot in the U.S. is 19 feet long, so okay. this will fit in any parking spot in the city or in most everybody's driveway. Wow. wow. So what's your favorite part of it, Roy? Uh, my favorite part is the bathroom. Okay. It's very comfortable, even for somebody my height. You can actually sit, you have elbow room, and it's a wet bath, but you don't have to necessarily make it a wet bath. You have a shower curtain that goes around that covers the sink and the toilet. So. Okay. I'll show you that when we go Now, inside. you guys are the exclusive distributor for these in the United States, yeah, is that correct? That and what's correct. what's the name of the distributor? How did we contact you? It's TM Motorhomes. Okay. We're based out of Los Angeles. Based out of Los Angeles. Yep. All right, very good. The only thing you guys are missing that I can see is you need a nice Italian female salesperson also out here <laughs> and speak well, Italian, can you right? Hire me? <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> sure. We'll see how you do it during the tour. Yeah, there you go. All right, you guys ready to show us this, Roy? All right, guys, let's take a look at the outside. What do we got here? We've got some cool storage. So there's a storage compartment here. It pops open. Very nice. Um, what's cool about this is there's actually a hatch here, so you can reach from inside and get, if you have groceries, you can come and put your stuff here and get it later from the inside. Wow, very cool. And as we move towards the back here, um, the cassette toilet. 
Okay. So, uh, this is a little bit different than people are used to here in the States, but um, very common in Europe. Pops out real easy. You can take this and just go on your way with your little poop suitcase. <laughs> and um, empty this out in any toilet or a dump station. Real easy to do. It's five gallons capacity. Five gallons, okay, very good. This is the European hookup yep. for the shore power. These are vents yep. for the heating system. The heating system is a true Makomi. It has radiant heat in the floor, um, which is really cool. And oh, it keeps your, nice. keeps your toes wow, toasty. Wow, radiant like heat that. on the floor. Yep. And, All right. um, and then it's also ducted heat as well. And okay. that will also heat the water. So people may ask why we're shooting this later in the evening, but there's been people all over this Class B all day today. It's yeah. almost impossible to get close to it. So they've been good enough to wait till the end of the day so we could get some one-on-one -on -one time, if you will. All right, let's do it. Thank you. Wow, look at this. This is the interior of the Oasi 540. I just closed the window because it's getting a little chilly here. Okay. But uh, yeah, the first thing you see is the cooktop okay. on the interior. Now you have an option of electric or propane. Okay. Also under the stove, we have a refrigerator. Now, like Joel said in the intro, this is the European model. The American model will have a big refrigerator, so it'll be like right up to here. Okay. okay. Now you have a nice sink, nice countertop space and a nice layout compared to any other class B you guys see here at the show. Yeah. No offense to the competition, but it's just fast. <laughs> well, uh, look I how much more idea. room, you yeah. Have a, you have a, a real, uh, I mean, a, a real RV here. Yeah, you have a real, you know, place of comfort. Like I've had people come in here and had five people sit here and then two here with yeah. a beer, just hang out. Um, you can also swivel the Wow, That's look at that. Fantastic. And if someone's on the kitchen, they have nice space. cooking area, yeah, yeah, nice space. And these also recline, and you, like I said, you can swivel them back to have them drive in position. Yeah. Now, now that we're still in the dinette, Alicia? Alicia? Alicia. Alicia. Yeah. Alicia, okay. So C H E or just C H C? -E. No, C. Spelled just like -E. Alice. C E. C E. Yeah. So, chin. so then this just go down to make the second bed. Very simple, push down. It'll go under the lining of the cushion. So that's like a twin size bed. For okay. okay. Yeah, now you have ample storage on both sides. Now for I me, like if I were to have this. one, yeah. don't mind the mess, it's where we keep our waters. It's been a long show here at Tampa. <laughs> that's a great idea. Yeah. And, or the snacks. If I were to travel, this will keep my snacks because this is accessible while the second, the primary bed is down. Okay. okay. Yep. Um, so there, let me show you the bed before we move over to my favorite part, which was the yeah. restroom. Okay. Well, here, where everybody's so close. It's yeah, that's a closet space. space. Now, this is what we like to call the secret sauce. Wow. It's a nice down bed. It's big. It's Full size, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty big. You want to come up there? Yeah, yeah. why not? Go ahead. So. I will not put my shoes, I promise. So the Italians did pretty good here, Alice. Yeah. I mean, it's Italian. Good. You can't, you know. But Nice. Wow. Huh? How what comfortable that? is that? It's very comfy. <laughs> it's very, very comfy. Yeah. And you have space over yeah, here. Yeah, and you will have and outlets. On the other side too. So oh, you, you have outlets up here. Okay. So, you know, for your iPhone, your iPad. Yeah. Okay. So you have a whole space. And they're already selling these in Europe? So in Europe, yeah, we've been around for about 40 years. Wow. So we just recently bringing them here this year. No kidding. Mm -hmm. That is fantastic. And I love that you have the window yeah, on so, top, so you can actually have the uh, Both windows open, and you have the the Initiate. mesh system okay. for the bugs or, or the, shade. the shade. Yeah, it's a little rough because I don't really use this, yeah. but that's what it would look like. Okay. Now, all the windows have that system. I'll show you guys that when we come down. But if anybody is wondering, that's viewing the video, the weight limit is 770 pounds. 770 pounds. Not kilos, pounds. Pounds. Even if it was kilos, it's still pretty heavy. So. Very impressive. I don't know who weighs that much in Italy, but that's the weight limit. <laughs> well, no, in Italy it would be like how many people that can fit on that. How many people, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that's very true. That's a different story. Because, you know, on, on pasta and meatballs, that's a pretty good diet. Yeah. <laughs> Wine I also. I agree. We came down, same easy way to come up. 
Now, wow, the that goes that up so you, easy, Ian. Easy. Just a yeah, nice little push. Yeah, super easy. Now, the well same done. system on the windows, you have your screen. Yep. Okay. Privacy. Okay. Screen. Privacy. Now, you have the and same do. system yeah. on the, all the windows. You have one here. Wow. Have one here. So easy. And then a pull up. Oh, look at that. So you get complete. Now, if I were to turn off the lights, what I'm going to do now. It's nice and dark. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, it's the one on top is open, but you guys get the idea. Yeah. Fantastic. Awesome. Very nice. And, and you got to you gotta love this color in here, huh, Alice? This is oh, Italian you know, style. I love white, so this is perfection. <laughs> the white adds to the feeling of having much more space on the floor. Yeah. Now, okay. if... If you guys come over here, I'll show you the best part of the RV, which is wow. the web bath. Now, a lot of web baths in the show don't have this much room. Wow. Now, if you guys are wondering, I'm six feet tall. I have ample headroom. Now, like I mentioned before, you don't need to have a web bath. You can have this go around you, and it covers the sink and the toilet. Super cool. Yep. It comes right around. You also have a nice medicine cabinet. Wow. Yep. And you also have more storage under the sink. Very nice. Yeah, I love this little unit. Yeah, I had it I had it for about a week out in San Francisco. Yeah. And no problem parking it, driving it up the of hills. Of course. Oh, go ahead and check it out. And you have also the space here for any toilet for, for shampoo and stuff like that. Yeah. What do you think, Alice? I love it. Yeah, it's just because it's Italian made, that's why. No, because it's perfect. She's being biased. No. Volt, yeah. which controls the lighting in here. Mm -hmm. um, you have your water pump, your awning light, your auxiliary power. So that's if you're hooked up to a shore power, you click this and it'll let the system know that you're connected to something. Okay. Just the settings, change the color, uh, your water tank levels and your water, uh, your voltage for the battery. So this is your car battery and this is your battery for the accessories in the back. Okay. Now this is your Truma system. That will be for the ambient heat and the water temperature. Okay. So that controls here through the Truma combi. And uh, yeah, you have a closet here. I don't know if you got a, a shot of that. Okay, very nice cool. Nice little hanging closet. Wow, lots of space. Yep, and then you have this bottom closet as well. It's pretty remarkable. And the length on this again was? 17 feet, nine inches. 17 feet, nine inches to have all of this. It's just remarkable. And we have but three people standing yeah. comfortably. Yeah. And you can seat the seven people. Yeah. So. Wow. Yeah, for sure. And you even got the seat belts built in there too. Yeah. So that's nice. Nice fabric. Really nice. The Italian leather. All Italian leather. All Italian leather, yes. There you go. Liche, you just got to be so happy with this. <laughs> yeah, I am. Molto, molto bene. Yeah. Molto, molto bene. Yeah. Wow. And look at all your drawers yeah. here. Look at this. Yeah, so they're all soft closed drawers. Nice. You can just push them in and they'll close on the middle. Okay. Very cool. This one. Push it, yeah. Push the middle. Uh, one second. Yeah, okay. yeah. Wow. Very cool. Lots of cabinet space. No, you'd be surprised. I mean, if you're interested about you know options, you get a microwave in okay. these two cabinets. So you lose this, these two cabinets if you decide to get a microwave. Okay. Now you can also have a TV installed and that would go right up here. Okay. And um, you do have an option of a signal booster for those who like to work from home. Mm -hmm. You'll yeah. be able to boost your Wi-Fi anywhere you have cell signal. So, so Roy, when are these gonna be available again? So availability, I'm not sure yet, but right now we're just taking uh, reservation deposits. And if you reserve one today, uh, delivery is looking around late this year, so December or as early as January of next year. Okay, very good. Yep. All right, Alice, pretty awesome, huh? Yeah, I'm in love. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much uh, for your time, Roy. Oh, really appreciate it. But when Alice found out there was an Italian Class B, we had to come and check That's it out. Cool, yeah. And, uh, yeah. 
We really appreciate your time. And what would you rate this, uh, Alice? Six Discovery buses. Six Discovery? <laughs> Come on. They only do a five. Five Discovery <laughs> You're a little biased on the Italian thing, Alice. Yeah, but can you blame her? It's, it's beautiful. It's yeah. beautiful and very well built. Thanks, Ray. You're welcome, guys. My pleasure. All right, here we are, and we're at the American Coach. We got a show special right now, marked down to 169.995, and we're here with the Leche, and it's not Tommy T, but the next Tommy right here. How you doing? How you doing? So tell us about this coach. This has uh, heard a lot of good things. Yeah, so this is brand new for the show. Um, this is the first one that they made, actually. Um, so you're actually going to have the fully upgraded um, Ford chassis for the Transit. It's going to come with a 3.5 EcoBoost, turbocharged. Nice. You're going to have all-wheel drive standard. You're also going to have the full Bliss system up here. So you're going to have lane keeping assist. You're going to have um, adaptive cruise control. Get a nice big screen up there as well. Um, we're ordering all of them in this way. Um, so it's kind of like the little step above what Patriot's known for with his uh, you know, attention to detail and fit and finish. Wow, JL really Audio nice. all throughout. All of their cabinets, all of their furniture, all of the stitching, everything's done in house. So they actually have about a hundred people in the upholstery shop that are hand stuffing, hand stitching these things, which is fantastic. Um, they're also doing the way we order them for RV1 is with this rain glass shower door. So nice thing about it is it breaks up kind of the monotony of this big, huge wall of wood, but also at night, it's like a little night light in here so you don't have to blast all the lights on which wow. is awesome really sharp um, and you can see me in the shower if you want to all okay. right let's take a look um, you are going to have full eco freedom full lithium on this coach so full lithium on this one yep uh, okay one of the only ones i know of there's no generator and there is no propane okay. whatsoever on this thing Okay. So, wow. Timberline for your water heater and your heater is going to come from the gas tank. Okay. okay. You're going to have six 100 amp lithium ion batteries that are up underneath. Six of them. Six of them. Okay. They're uh, Dragonfly, which is essentially Battleborn. The nice thing about this versus some of the other guys is that it's underneath the floor, mm -hmm. not a big huge box here. So you still get this for storage. Mm -hmm. um, you can see we got some, a printer and stuff there for the show, but that's be wide open for you. You'll have a 3000 watt inverter on here, and you're also gonna come standard with 320 watts of solar panels up top. Okay? Wow, okay. So big, big deal. You're also gonna have on that system, uh, what else am I missing? Uh, your AC is 12 volt. Okay. It is a 20,000 BTU AC. So push a button, everything works, which is great. Yeah. And your fridge is a compressor style fridge also. Okay. okay. And you got the fridge freezer. Yeah, so the it's bottom. fridge and freezer. Essentially, this is going to be in an hour cold enough that you can put ice cream in there and it's not going to melt. Wow. Very nice. So this has been great for us. Induction cooktop, all the woodwork done in house as well. Uh, it's not going to swell or anything like that between the temperatures. Here at the show, it was 40, then 80, and then 40 again and rainy, and they look exactly <laughs> the same as when they got here. So nice. we've, uh, we've done really well with it. Lots of drawers here. Oh, you got the little sponge deal, and then. Yeah, you got tons of storage here. Wow, too. lots of storage under there. So that's very nice. Very, very nice. And some storage up top. Nice big latches on everything. Yeah. Wow. Box you in. You got another way in back the back here. And then you have another one right here as well. Very and then cool. you can really see kind of the stitching on the furniture here. Yeah, it's a classy look. I mean, this is a nice fit and finish. I mean, this really... is our most popular version. Uh, so it's double needle is what they call it. If anybody orders it, that's what they'll ask for. 
Um, and then you're going to have also three spots here with actual seat belts on there. Okay. Uh, and you'll see, if you see up front, there's one right where above the rear view. Yeah. There's the main one right here. Uh, behind you and then back here there are essentially three firefly screens okay. okay so you got three in the unit all together it's a 22 foot unit with more screens than most 40 foot coaches right so everything's going to be controlled here and then you have two satellite screens which are those two that control probably about 75 percent of your stuff mm -hmm. so if you're back here you can adjust your radio put the bed down the bed is automatic which is nice so you press it down it goes straight down yeah and all you do is put a little board there with the two pillows. Queen size bed. Wow. And I am 6'3", and I fit from here back, and I do not hit my head on the door or my feet. So. Awesome. And the heating system, how is that set up? So the heat and the water heater are running off the gas tank. Okay. So you get to a quarter of a tank, it'll stop. You'll have to go get more fuel, but you have no need for any propane, and you have no need for any generator on here either. Wow. And 3,000 watt inverter. And 3,000 watt inverter. That's nice. That's really nice, actually. Well, thanks so much, Tommy. You're really welcome. appreciate it. This is a sharp unit, uh, beautiful fit and finish. Nice looking unit. So I saw it won some awards this year for the 2022. And you say this is the very first one. Very first one, yeah. It won uh, 2022's Class B of the year. Okay. So we're, uh, we're taking orders off of it. We'll have 2023's hopefully in by June or earlier, so pretty okay. excited about it. And then what's the lead time right now if you order one of these? Right, June or July. Uh, we're trying to get them a little bit earlier than that. So as long as we can get chassis, they're gonna build them and get up to us as soon as they can. And then how about the warranty? Uh, you're gonna be three years on all of their furniture, anything that they actually build. Yeah. So upholstery cabinets and stuff like that. And then you have one year on all your appliances. Okay. Um, your basic Ford stuff for the warranty there. And then we offer extended warranties for um, everything else for you as well. All right, Tommy. So if you want to buy one of these, a shout out to your dealership. And Yeah, we are uh, RV1 Superstores right over in Dover, Florida. We're exit 14. And what's the website? Uh, it's rv1.com. All right. Easy. Very good. So you can order one of these today and You'll have it uh, before you know it. So really nice unit. Uh, what do you give this, Alice? I would say five Discovery buses. <laughs> really great finish, and uh, I like the layout a lot. Yeah, it's a nice design, for it's sure. It's a really nice design. Yeah, yeah. well done. Thanks, Tommy. You're Thank welcome. you. Thank you. So as you can see, this American Coach is a great RV uh, Class B camper van. Um, really nice fit and finish, great look to it. Everything about this, we were pretty impressed overall. So um, yeah, it's a little more expensive. As you can see here, this comes in at 169 with the savings off of the list. But uh, this is a really, really nice camper van. We're going to show you a little bit of the outside of this camper van now. So you got the cable in there. Yep, so cable's gonna be right here. You're gonna have hot and cold right here. Yeah. You have water in, you have black flush, gray flush, and then you'll just switch between city and fresh water. Very good. That all locks out, and then you got yeah, your standard you 330. Yeah, you with your valve over here. Okay. Yeah, like the screen that. can even unattach, it's a magnet, and then you just have full pass through completely. Right. Great one. Right here. Yeah. 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 around. Magnet it out. Yeah, that's really nice. And then this is a nice screen here, right? All the way down. Yeah, very good. So really nice. You're also going to get a screen on that door that snaps in. Yeah. It's not on this one, but it's going to come on all the other ones. Okay. Uh, that is a combination of basically here yeah. and kind of up underneath that cushion in there. Okay. Um, and then under here is going to be your inverter, and you got some fuses and stuff in here. And you can tow 6,100 pounds. Yeah. All right, very cool. 
So as you can see, this was a great Class B. This was actually Type B of the year at RV News and uh, great product. So let's move forward with Thor. These guys have a great unit marked down 111,000. And uh, we were impressed with this. This is a nice little unit. It's not too big, but uh, really nice layout. And as you can see here, quality control systems. Looks really nice and a nice opening as you come in here with the nice big table. Um, really cool layout, great price point for many people. Good fit and finish, nice looking unit overall. The galley as you can see here was very nice, great cabinets, uh, TV mount, plenty of storage space in here and uh, look at the storage in the back of this unit where you've got the refrigerator freezer and then you've got the bathroom fully in the back. So for the rest of this video, we're gonna to try to go through several of these pretty quick, get you to see this electric class B that we've been talking about. Um, but we wanted to throw in a couple more of these just to get a feel for what else is out there. Alicia really liked this unit, thumbs up as you can see. And uh, take a look at this Thor unit. That's right, uh, real low 100s nice layout again um, and you know for the money these stores are some nice camper vans uh, good quality materials um, overall we were impressed nice control systems you can see this layout is nice also and um, overall we we were impressed with these Thor products um, next here you're gonna see in a second uh, we've got a another one and here's a different style layout and as you can see here pretty cool really nice setup there and um, you know overall um, we'd highly recommend you guys to check out these Thor products um, especially if you're looking for a better price point and uh, you know overall really nice looking unit nice bathroom here you can see plenty of storage um, and uh, really nice layout plenty of drawers and shelves and you name it so this is the rise uh, this is a really popular unit and uh, the sequence from Thor is right here the 20L and uh, once again great price point this was down to $94,000 in 2022 try to find that in a class B and uh, overall once again great layout uh, plenty of storage nice looking unit um, so if you're on a budget uh, I definitely would take a look at these Thor units uh, for the money I think this is probably one of the best values at the show and we were impressed and this is a rear bath in this one also this Thor had a nice rack system on the back. We're going to swing around right now and show you that rear bath and how much room you've got there. But you can see this is pretty nice setup the way they have it. They also have the ladder extension, nice storage, some good control systems here. And uh, overall, really nice unit, good price point. Uh, no question, Thor has done a nice job with this particular unit. So let's move forward and we've got the sequence 20 AB AP from Thor and uh, 109 on this one and you can see this has got the pop top and uh, overall this was one of our favorite from Thor. Uh, you can definitely get the kids up top and uh, plenty of room in here and uh, here's a little bit of the layout and we'll show you that. Really nice quality unit, good materials, and uh, as you can see here, the TV, you can put the two kids right there um, as you're traveling down the highway, which is nice. And up top, we're gonna give you a quick view of that. Boom, plenty of room for the kids to sleep up there, which is a nice, for a great you know price point, you can get four people in here, no problem. Nice USB connectors, um, all of your control systems, flat screen, nice galley, um, plenty of storage in this one, and your beds in the back, um, and overall good fit and finish, no question about it. So we would uh, highly recommend these units as we talked about, great price point, and uh, we'll show you the rest of it right here, and then we'll move on to the next one.
Okay, the next unit is the 2022 Passage, and uh, this is a nice unit, really good quality, and you can take a look here. They've got all the different colors available, really nice layout. This is similar. Uh, this is done by Midwest, and uh, as you can see here, good price point for this type of quality, really nice interior. We were super impressed with this one. Um, take a look at these seats and the layout. This is a Mercedes diesel in this one and uh, really high quality. It had a real quality feel to it. And uh, this Midwest brand, um, a lot of people aren't aware of it, uh, but as you can see here, the fit and finish, the stitching. Um, take a look at this nice, really nice bathroom with the sink. Uh, plenty of room in there for a Class B, nice porcelain toilet. Uh, one piece design here, nice shower uh, setup, and um, as you come back, you've got your stove. But uh, take a look at the storage right here. You can hang your jackets and all that good stuff. And uh, the quality, the stitching on this was pretty neat. And I love this rear storage all the way around the back. Um, overall, really nice unit, and we were impressed with this. We thought this was another great class B that you don't get to see many of these on the road uh, but we'll give you a little bit of a view of it today so you can see that so once again it's the 2022 passage and that's $227,000 uh, but you could feel the difference in the quality and uh, yeah it's an expensive unit uh, but it, it had a little bit of everything they even had the convection in oven microwave in this one and uh, you can see this this unit was decked out for sure. Um, definitely had the longer chassis and the TV and everything else set up here. Very similar to the Coachman 22C, but a high-end version of that. Kind of similar to a Galleria, if you will, but even a little bit higher end uh, than that as far as the fit and finish goes. All right, let's take a look at this next one, 179. That's right, uh, show special. This is the Jayco, and this is the Terrain, 19Y, Class B, and this is one gorgeous unit. We actually did a video on this uh, RV that you're definitely going to want to check out. Um, we go into detail with it, and uh, we were impressed with this unit. They've done a really great job. And this is for your overlanding, getting out there, camping down by the river, doing some fish and hunting, uh, whatever it may be, out west, national parks. Uh, but the way this layout is set up, we were super impressed. You have the ladder, you have the Mercedes, uh, you got the 4x4 set up with the big tires, and uh, plenty of storage, a little bit of this um, toy design, if you will, where you can put your bikes and everything underneath here and uh, the bed comes up and down but look at all the storage in there it's like a toy hauler camper type product um, but overall really really nice unit and you're gonna definitely want to check out that video that we did um, we go through it in big detail so you get to see this entire unit uh, but if you're looking for the 4x4 this is one of the top contenders and uh, they've done a really nice job with it Okay, next one up, Jayco Swift. That's right, this is a 20T model. And uh, as you can see here, another nice <laughs> unit. There's just so many Class Bs out there now. And uh, 
but that's the whole purpose of this video so you guys can get to see a wide variety we call it the Super Bowl of Class B videos and uh, you get to check all these out and uh, you know once again take a look at the interior on this super cool microwave refrigerator galley situation here with the nice overall layout um, or on the ram chassis this time some nice stitch seats up front look at this pull out for doing all your cutting of your veggies and everything else and uh, once again this is a rear bath unit and a really nice layout overall Okay, we're getting closer and closer to that electric Class B, but we got one more Class B camper van for you. And as you can see here, this one's pretty decked out, pretty awesome. And this is the Creech uh, <clears throat> Class B. They've done a great job with this really quality feel to it. Take a look at that, um, you know, your connection set up there for your electrical and everything else. Just much nicer than what you've seen on most of the vans. Um, but they get the Timberline system as you can see here real quality materials um, We're gonna walk inside here and check this out uh, But the price on this one that's right is two hundred and twelve thousand dollars two hundred and twelve thousand dollars lots of features and benefits to it um, They get the little fold-up table here nice galley big sink uh, touch screen as you can see uh, classic set up for this uh, range of uh, and take a look at that sink it's a monster nice galley overall Aliche was impressed a two burner instead of a single burner which you have on most of them cabinets are gorgeous as you can see here so we'll take a look at this and then we're going to show you that electric class b that uh, we've been talking about and we'll wrap this video up and uh, we really hope you appreciate it this is a long video lots of editing and uh, we'd really really appreciate a like on it if you could and subscribe to the channel we got all kinds of cool stuff on how to have fun outdoors but in any case let's uh, move on to that electric one we'll show you the final shots here and move on to that electric class B Okay, next up is the Thor all-electric camper van. This thing is like outer space. It is super cool design. Just goes to show you uh, what Thor has done with this is really thinking outside the box, and we're excited to show it to you. It is uh, adventure. It's electrified. It is all Thor, and they have done a great job with it and uh, let's go ahead and show you around with this awesome van all right we got cherokee here which is pretty awesome with the leche and we're looking at an electric class b rv and this is kind of taking the class b rv up to the next level right it has this is the thor vision vehicle so the tvv so this is actually a class b plus and the reason for that is that space that used to have your storage, well, that's where the battery, the lithium ion battery is now housed. And we've moved the storage to the rear of the vehicle, which is kind of cool 
because you can now access the storage from inside the vehicle. So if there's inclement weather or whatever, you no longer have to go outside if you forgot something in storage. You can just like go to your mini garage and pop in and grab whatever you need. Wow. The other super cool thing about that is if you're somebody that likes to kayak yeah. or somebody that likes to bike, you can actually store those things inside the vehicle during transit so it reduces drag, which then extends your range, right? Yeah. And it also, when you're stopping along the way, it yeah. secures them. You don't have to worry about, you know, are they still going to be there when I get done eating? Right. Which is really cool. You might have noticed, and feel free to take, turn around and take a look. There's some things that are seemingly missing from the exterior of this vehicle, which are, what do you notice right off the bat that isn't there that typically would be? You get your rear view mirror there. Yeah, the, your, your side mirrors, mirrors. Side yeah, mirrors, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And if you look up, that awning that's normally sticking off the side, yeah. in that big AC unit that's normally sticking off the side, yep. we've actually integrated all of those into the roof line. Wow. Right? Awesome. And the mirrors, we've actually given you cameras instead of those big mirrors. And all of that is to improve the aerodynamics. Wow. Because by improving those aerodynamics, we improve your range. That's Fantastic. super cool. So a lot of people are like, wait a minute. So this is a fully electric vehicle. That's great. But how far can I go? What is my range, right? Yeah. So you can go 300 miles or about five hours. Wow. Yeah. That's um, amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and actually, if you look behind you, we, much like today's vehicles have a fuel gauge, we have an energy gauge. Okay. And much like today's vehicles, you can find the closest gas station, well, you can find the closest energy station. And all of that, you can yeah. find at your fingertips in the cockpit. Yeah. Super which cool. Is super cool. All right, Alicia, you ready to go take a look at the inside yeah. of this? Let's sure step you... in the future. <laughs> <laughs> Make All sure right. you ask her about Alexa. Yeah. Because we've uh, given Alexa a little a little knowledge. We've got some knowledge on Alexa. Oh, I like that. So okay. she can help you troubleshoot. All right. Computer. And this also has 5G built in. 5G is wow. built in. Awesome. awesome. Yeah. Already. All right, yeah. and this is all concept right now, yeah, but uh, it's a prototype right now, but we're looking at late 2023, early 2024. Awesome. So when you go in, make sure you look up. All, all right. right, I will do that. <laughs> Enjoy, guys. Very good. Wow, look at this. It's gorgeous. Very impressive. How are you doing? I'm well, thank you. Wow, look at this thing, huh? All right, Alice, take a look at this little display. Alicia, yes. see you. Thank you so much. All this right. This little display is what uh, controls all of the commands inside of the vehicle as far as digital commands. So, like, if you can direct your attention right over here. Okay. Unfog the mirror. Wow. Nice. Very impressive. Yeah. And then we have our digital rear view camera. Okay, got that. We have our digital side camera. That's how I got to Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then this this right here swivels around. Yeah. 180 degrees. Very cool. And this is going to double as a dining tray or as a workstation. Yeah. Um, if we go ahead, I don't want to be on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. If we go ahead and look at this television right here. We have partnered with Amazon, who has been so gracious to provide Alexa to us. Alexa, are you clocked in and ready to work? She has no idea. Hey Alexa, where's the next charger? Wow. Hey Alexa, hey Alexa, where is the nearest charger? I found a few nearby options for that. There's talk a lot wireless Metro PCS. That, huh? Alexa, where is the nearest charger? Okay. Cool. And then she will show you where the oh, nearest look. charger is. Huh? Yeah, I see it, huh? Very cool. So behind us here, we do have that Murphy Queen pull out. Okay. Slide off that. Yep. Place right on top and of And obviously, it's the old. This is uh, gonna control the lights. This right okay. here is our oven. Yep. Very nice. Refrigerator. Freezer. 
Nikki. Follow the moon roof, the solar panel moon roof on out. You will go through a very spacious bathroom and then you will go through a garage sort of situation that can very comfortably store your equipment. So basically when we decided to put the batteries in the RV, we didn't want to talk about the storage space. that you guys enjoyed as much as we did the Viz uh, uh, Florida RV Super Show and uh, checking out all the new Class V RVs. Obviously, the favorite one remained for me the hour beyond. However, there are some cool ones like the, uh, the Wingman, the Italian made uh, super small uh, Class V RV and also the prototype for the electrical one. I really hope that you guys enjoy, so please subscribe, hit the like button, and thank you so much for watching. Have fun! Outdoors!